Today is Saturday, January 23rd, and I'll be doing triceps and extra. Maybe. So we'll just leave it as a maybe. So what does that mean? We're just gonna have to wait to the end of the movie, uh, end of the movie, end of the video to find out. So we're gonna start with um, triceps, some skull crunches in the Smith machine, and from there, I'll explain what I'll be doing. For triceps, I'm gonna probably do about four different exercises. Um, give you a recap of what's going to happen is okay, I'm gonna uh, show you my first warm up. Then in the uh, filming process, it's gonna be first set, last set, and I'll tell you stuff in between. So with this, it's gonna be this is gonna be my first warm up. I'm gonna do three warm ups and start my first warm working set. A warm up muscle contracts harder than the cold muscle. Right here, it's gonna be a skull crusher, but more so like a nose crusher. My elbows are jacked up and it just bothers me too high. So instead of saying I can't do it, I just alternate it and I actually fell in love with this exercise more. I'm, I'm performing a cement machine one here. So I'm just warming up for about 12 reps or so, maybe 15. I'm just gonna get right here. I don't worry about trying to tuck in my elbows because you're forcing. Sit right here, find my rhythm. And always say uh, set your safety harness. Even if I drop it, it catch it. Safety first. And I felt more, I felt good, so I did about 15 reps. So I'm gonna do two more sets and let's start. For the three warm-ups, I did a 45, 45, then a 45, 25, which is on there now. I'm actually gonna start my first set with this. How many sets? About three or four. We'll see what. Once I keep going, laying for 10 reps. That's what I'm feeling. That's three. I did the same weight for set two. Crap's heavy, so I'm just gonna be doing three sets total. It's gonna be a tricep push down. I got the curvy bar instead of a flat bar. So when I do this, I got 100 pounds. This is on a single pulley, not a double, which means it's a lot harder. So I'm gonna lean over and get in a strong position. As long as my arm is parallel with the bar, that's what matters. I lean over so I can handle the weight. So this is 12, I'm filming this exercise. So we'll see how many sets I do. For this fourth set, uh, I get on 140 pounds. I'm gonna stance weird because it's like, this is a lot of weight. I'm doing tricep push downs on a lap machine, which is a single pulley, meaning there's one cable going through. But it, and there's two couple, it's a couple pulleys, but it's one movement. Whereas like most people do tricep push downs, on a double pulley, which 150 is easy. Like I can do it with one arm. But if if you wonder what's the weight feel like the difference, go ahead and do a tricep push down on the lap machine with the same weight that you normally do with the tricep. And there's a reality check for you. This being said, 
10 to 12 here. Fourth set. Come on. Let's see it lifts me up. tricep and I'm going to be doing 150 on here and if most people don't understand what the difference between a single pulley and a double pulley is and when you do a machine like this this is a double pulley so whenever I'm pulling this down if you look at the cable the wheel will go up one side the wheel is crawling up this side see that you just this cable stays still it's not moving but this this is going like this I'm just holding this, and that's what my hand's doing. I'm holding this, and this side's not moving at all. That's what's considered a double pulley because you're lifting up half the wheel, so that means it's gonna be easier. To prove a point, 20 pounds on this, to be a single pulley, you have to grab both cables and lift, lift it up together. You see, that's a lot harder because it's lifting it directly up versus if I just grab this, and just go up the side. That's the difference between the two. But I still like doing stuff on this one over here because it has a different feel than the over there. So I'm gonna do rope push downs for my third exercise. I'm gonna do more uh, reps. I got like techno music going on. I know you can't hear it, but I'm jamming. Real toast up. I got an extra white stance. Not really. That's that's my comfy stance like that. That's my little dance. The wheelchair jiggle. Tricep, that's trying to keep it parallel, but my arm comes up and goes down, up, down. That's what you're looking for. So even if you're leaning forward like this, as long as your arm is parallel, you can still go up, down. So that's that's the concept of the tricep push down. And people want to stand straight up as long as their arms like this, it's going to go up, down. Is there any difference? A little bit, but not much. Except until you start leaning really well over like this. And as long as your arm is parallel to this, that's a different form of exercise. So is one right or is one wrong? No. But as long as you do that concept, because it's a chopping motion, that's your tricep. And this, since it goes out, it works the lateral head of your tricep breakout. There's three heads of your tricep breakout. Most people don't even know that. They just think it works triceps. But this is a specific movement for a specific muscle for a specific goal that I'm doing. And with that in mind, fourth set, 15 reps. See, see that arm? That's what I'm looking for. Doesn't matter how my stance is, as long as it does that. Face. Rip off the face. 
So, there's a little variables to that. And instead of just criticizing, actually take action and do it yourself, and you'll see what I mean. Next up is the overhead tricep extension with the easy curl bar, or some people say easy curl overhead extensions, or overhead easy curl extensions. Basically, you got the easy curl bar, you're doing overhead extensions, because extension does the tricep. So this works on the back of the arm, the tricep. Um, you can't do this, you can do it one arm with a dumbbell. The different variation kind of works the same, same thing, but not really. This is not the easiest to get up, but find your own rhythm. If you want, have somebody hand it to you. But this is how I get it up by myself. And when I put in position, I'll use the close grip. Stretch up. So, 245s, it's 90 pounds, plus the bar is about, say, 20. So this would be equivalent of 115 pounds. Um, it's like some people do the dumbbells. So it would be like 115 pound dumbbell overhead extension. To give you a comparison of what type of weight I'm using. So getting the back swing of things, like just adding tens on each side, it's a lot of weight whenever you do perform this exercise. Um, depending on who you are. If you're Superman, have at it. So, this is my fourth set. I added 10 on each side. Did two sets without it. And, uh, now I'm gonna, the third set, I added a 10. And the fourth set, it's gonna be the same weight. This is my last tricep exercise. Then I'm gonna do one exercise from a rear delt, and that's gonna conclude the workout. Let's get this one. How many reps? I'm gonna aim for about 12. I think. Ah, depending on how it goes. Well, it takes a lot of energy just to get ready to do the exercise. Now I'm ready to do the exercise. Basically, it's a reverse fly. So if you do a fly like this, to work the back of your shoulders is like this. So this is the movement, but I'm facing here. So it's iron my legs like this. Now, I'll be popping it up like this, squeezing. The goal is to squeeze with the sh uh, shoulder blades in the back. I'm just gonna do one exercise, I mean, one set of this to show you, and that concludes the workout. I missed shoulder at the back part of my shoulders the other night. So, let's do this. Grab it, should be neutral, sort of, and then do it. Ah. Ah. training and stuff like that, you just gotta make it work. It's like Saturday night and um, sacrifices need to be made 
but you know, if you're trying to go out and stuff, you can still make a lifestyle of this regardless of what you're trying to do. You just got to get it done early. But this is my life, and I don't probably ever go out ever because I'm always working. So you just do what you got to do to get the job done that you're trying to achieve. I have specific goals, specific things I want to try to achieve. The only, only way I'm going to do it is keep moving forward toward that goal that I have written down on a piece of paper so I can constantly see it. It's baby steps that will take you to the end of the rainbow. There's no such thing as a pot of gold, but we use that end result as the pot of gold so we can stay focused on what path we should take. There may be a red little line, purple, blue, or the Skittles. It doesn't matter which way you go or which road you take, you'll eventually get the bag of Skittles at the pot of the gold. Did that really make sense? Air absolutely, because I'm Nick Scott. So share my video with your friends, auntie, uncle, brother, sister, nephew, your dog, show the doggy. They I love doggies, they love me too. Anyway, I'm done. This is another workout in the blueprint. Until next time, same beast channel. I'm Nick Scott. Adios. Wheelchair Athletics Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that provides and supports disabled athletes. Please support our cause. Volunteer, donate funds, mail items for the eBay store.